newsroom. It's been more than 36 hours after a string of deadly terror attacks in India's commercial capital, Mumbai. And regulators are weighing the possibility of reopening the country's stock exchanges. Meantime, special forces are storming Mumbai's Jewish center in a bid to free hostages inside. And commandos continue to flush out terrorists in two luxury hotels. City officials say the situation remains unstable. At least 119 people are dead and more than 300 have been hurt. Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh is pinning the blame on his country's, quote, neighbors, a word that usually refers to rival Pakistan. <laughs> Nifty futures traded in Singapore are uh, moving down sharply right now. Look at that, down 1.3%, 2,650. And as we've been telling you uh, all morning, Aaron Smith, the managing director of Superfund Financial, is here to help us chart price patterns and market trends across several markets and asset classes. And he's joining us now from our newsroom. It's good to see you there, Aaron. Uh, why don't we kick things off with a chart of the BSE, since India is hoping to be able to open their market it's uh, a little later today. There's a possibility that could change uh, depending on the situation. But uh, give us your take on where to from here for the Indian market. Well, I think the Indian market is going to have to price in these, uh, this terrorist attack that we've seen in Bombay. Uh, this is quite an unfortunate event, but it hasn't changed our plans at Superfund at all. Uh, we're still going ahead with our 10-year our, uh, business plan in India and uh, look forward to carrying on our meetings there. Uh, uh, throughout the next few weeks. Uh, but if you look at the Sensex, I think that is, uh, it, it's due for a rally. Uh, once we get past the bad news of the terrorist attack, it's fallen so far so fast uh, that it's really due for a rally. If you look, uh, it, it basically kind of broke through a support level here, uh, which was a very bearish indicator. And we would expect that if it can breach this 50-day moving average, uh, that will be a little bit of a bullish uh, bullish indicator. So short-term traders might be able to profit by buying uh, Sensex at these levels or buying Nifty at these levels. But this is just a normal market correction in a broader context of a bear market for equities. We expect uh, buy and hold investors will do poorly if they just buy uh, stocks and any particular index. Uh, but especially if you look at Sensex, uh, we think over the next two to three years, this will not be... Uh, the best place to preserve your capital. Okay, what about the rupee, uh, Aaron? Because I know that's been a real challenge for investors. There's been so much capital flooding out of India. The central bank's been trying to support the currency and, and they're draining much needed liquidity from the system that's already uh, fairly tight as it is everywhere else in the world. What's your outlook for the currency? Well, the rupee's gotten crushed against the U.S. dollar. I mean, it's absolutely uh, really been hammered and at this point we also feel that that may be due for a big reversal as well uh, but fortunately for the average Indian investor uh, the average Indian has some allocation to gold so rather than speculate whether uh, the rupee or the dollar will be stronger we advocate that Indian investors uh, use uh, uh, acquire or purchase gold at these levels because we feel that gold will perform well relative to the rupee and relative to the US dollar uh, but if you look at the chart, there's been a huge appreciation. Uh, you can see a, a, a trend channel, which has lasted for a few months, a very bullish trend channel for the U.S. dollar. Uh, and you see that the, the price action is now breaking through the 10 and 30-day moving averages. That indicates that we could be at a reversal point, and we would look for a, a normal correction to occur in the rupee versus the dollar. Uh, but overall, we think that both currencies will be weak as compared to gold. Okay, Aaron, thank you so much. Aaron Smith is Managing Director at Superfund Financial. He's going to be with us throughout the hour. So if there's anything you want charted, just send us an email. The address is cashflow at cnbcasia.com.